Hey guys, it's Jim. So they are back by popular demand. <laughs> it's the very first uh, preview that we finished. And of course, who are our official reviewers? It's Chris and Robin Johnson. So nice to have you guys back in a timely nice fashion. Yeah, and, and what I'm referring to is obviously last time uh, we didn't do the first matinee of Mary Poppins. So unfortunately, we didn't, weren't able to do your guys' review that early. And then of course, we got an onslaught of uh, emails and Facebook posts about <laughs> where are the Johnsons. They thought maybe we had a contract negotiation problem with you, but we worked that out with your agents and we're fine. Oh yeah, we work cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so look, we just finished 10 minutes ago and you guys walked out of the theater and right in here. So let me ask you, what's your first reaction in uh, the show you just saw? It was a high energy rock experience. <laughs> Takes back us old guys back to our youth. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you and I were just talking, the three of us were just talking off camera about how, you know, you guys saw the who in your younger days on stuff, oh, yeah. as did I. And, you know, like turning on the radio and listening to LS and rocking out to the who and all those other great right. bands of those days. And uh, we always talk about, like you said, Robin, how fast that first act goes. I mean, you don't realize it starts, and the next thing you know, it's over. It is high energy nonstop. Man. It is. It's one song after another. When intermission lights come up, you think, what happened? <laughs> yeah. And what do you think about, you know, the, the visuals? Because we keep talking about the fact this is very a sensory surround show and those big screens all over the place. I mean, it's nonstop with stuff up there. Those big screens that give the background, you can see each segment coming up and what's been happening and what's going on and when he gets in his container and goes up sailing with them lasers going off of his hands that was wild unbelievable. <laughs> and what he's referring to is you know the the giant pinball uh uh, scene in the second act that everybody talks about and it's a really cool approach to what we did with that oh, thing sure and stuff. Yeah. It was just just super yeah if you thought mary poppins was pretty cool with her flying then uh when he gets up there like you said with lasers and everything else on his hands you, people are gonna love that oh. which think of the acting you know a Devin as, you know, the older Tommy and then the two kids Tommies. Mm -hmm. We sat next to the parents of the 10-year-old Tommy. And Rick, right? Yeah, it was a ball. I mean, we stopped and seen Jim Cordy, and we had to congratulate him. He has put together a show to end all shows. And the thing is, uh, we kept saying this year, like there wasn't a single show that was gonna be small. And the thing like Tommy is, very few people do it because it's a really difficult show to do mm -hmm, because absolutely. you're doing a rock concert, you're doing a musical, you're doing all the effects, and, and there's a standard that you gotta live up to when you do this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and the story, the story is just terrific. You know, uh, people think sometimes that uh, Tommy can be a sad and can be a bummer, but for me, when I saw it last night, the final dress, I left, man. I was I was exhausted and I was fired up because <laughs> at the end, it's a, it's a really like it turns it around and everybody celebrates and it's a really cool you know message about how important people are in your life and family, etc. Man, mm -hmm, how'd exactly. you guys feel about that? Exactly. I wouldn't want to spend an afternoon watching Tommy and listening to the Who. <laughs> <laughs> Choreography. Like high energy, nonstop, really cool choreography in the show. What you guys think about it? Just from the very beginning to the very end, those actors and actresses are just going all the time. It's unbelievable how they can keep it up. You know, and in a uh, traditional musical, when you do the overture, which is the beginning of the show, it's usually just the music. But as you guys said, from the minute they start playing, actors are on that stage and they're doing everything from doing the paratroopers, jumping off and landing, you know, to the church scenes and dancing and all of that kind of thing. Felt like you were there. So do you feel like if uh, you can only enjoy the show if you've ever seen the uh, Who's Tommy before? Or do you think, think anybody so. will I dig this? I think you could enjoy this fast action show if you've never seen it. I think it'd even be better if you've never seen it. Because then you <laughs> don't have any expectations and boy, will it ever floor them. Nice. Well, thank you guys. It's wonderful to uh, see you guys back again. And by the way, just so everybody knows, uh, Chris just got out of the hospital a couple of days ago. And the first thing he does is 
come to our show. So thank you for uh, coming out here and especially coming out and seeing a high energy show like Tommy after you being in there for a few days. Good therapy. Yeah, <laughs> it's wonderful right. to see you guys again. And uh, I hope you uh, do well at the gambling table after the show. I'm guessing you're going to go. Oh, yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, we'll be back in another whatever it is, six weeks, seven mm -hmm. weeks with uh, Les Mis mm -hmm. for the end of the year. On that'll be a good one, that'll, too. That'll be a good one to finish up the season. With. Thank you, Chris and uh, Robin Johnson, man, for your review for the first official review of Tommy. Thank All right. you. Thank you very much, Bye. Jim. Bye, everybody. <laughs>